Yeah, coach, thanks. Um, firstly, being involved in, in such a project, um, what does it mean for you as a South African legend? Uh, personally, for me, it's a very huge uh, responsibility that uh, I'm tasked with uh, to be dealing with this, uh, the most beautiful uh, project. Uh, we, we all dreamed about it. Me and Coach Peter, we come a long way, longest way, if I may say, Cosmos. Uh, we went both overseas, we came back, we went back to Sundowns, and we started our coaching career at Sundowns, me and him. I was assistant coach for Ted Dimitri, and then he was a development uh, coach. Then he went super sport. Then I went uh, Banyana Banyana, he joined later to become uh, interim Bafana Bafana uh, national team coach. And then uh, we went different ways. Uh, he went uh, overseas again, uh, back to uh, Africa. And then I went to Soccer Institute in Mafikeng. Um, and then I'm back now here. He says to me, can you come and let's start this thing. Let's start this thing rolling. Because me and you, we never had this kind of opportunity of uh, developing. Uh, we had a lot of challenges overseas. When we come there, they tell us, you are not well developed. We say, how do you see it? Uh, one doctor says, uh, your hamstrings are short. Uh, you always have stomach cramps because you are not well developed. We say, oh, this is actually how rounded you are to be uh, developed. Uh, we they introduce, reintroduce new uh, nutrition uh, for me. Uh, different. I, I used to ride a bicycle in, in Europe. I started riding bicycle in Europe. I went to the roller skates. I did uh, uh, <laughs> gymnastics and then aerobics with the grannies, the old uh, gogos, but they were trying to holistically uh, try to access, uh, fast track my development of the muscles uh, because I was not well-rounded, uh, holistically developed. And then uh, Coach Piso came and says, we have learned so much overseas, let's come back and let's do this. And uh, here I am and doing this. And this is the best thing I, I, I've done and I love. I've developed the Banyana Banyana already, the woman football, I put it together uh, when I came back from overseas with a little bit of experience. But now since I've gone through that international experiences, I've, I've come across now to say I understand the culture and the philosophy uh, of, of uh, my country, my background. Uh, I know we don't have resources, we come from the dusty streets uh, of our uh, communities. And now uh, how can we help? these youngsters that are aspiring to become uh, better than we are. I mean, uh, in the Val, I'm still the only uh, gold medalist uh, of the all the national team players uh, for Bafana Bafana. So I uh, think I'm getting a little bit tired of uh, hearing that after 1996 and I'm still the only one. I need to go and develop more some Simani, more Makalakalans in the oh, Steve Likwele, all of them. Valley's got a lot of talent. The country's got a lot of talent, as you have heard uh, the coach was um, uh, saying there. So there is talent there, and th this country is vast, and we're not even scratching the surfaces yet. We might have started maybe at the Kuro <coughs> and the independent schools, but it's just a start for us. Let's get the schools that are already having resources. These uh, private schools have uh, better resources than our communities. As soon as we roll out the program and we understand it, then we will be rolling out throughout the uh, country, challenging everybody to come on board and help the country to grow. Coach, I'm just going to be talking about the coach and talking about the class of 96. We were coached by the late Clive Baka. Uh, he was uh, laid to rest just yesterday. and. Uh, your relationship, taking the coaching that you are involved now, how much of his influence are you still carrying along into this program? And what are the learnings that South African football has taught you put together with your international experience? Yeah, we all learn uh, different things from different coaches. Uh, thank God. Uh, for me, like Coach Clive Barker, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, he was uh, the greatest motivator uh, of all times that I've been. Uh, all the coaches were more astute into uh, tactical approaches, uh, winning the games. He, everyone wants to win the game as a coach, but it's what approach, what philosophy are you going to use? So uh, Coach uh, Clive Barker's philosophy was get motivated, we do it for the country. We just come out of uh, apartheid, it's 1994. Uh, uh, President Mandela was visiting us every night at the camps with the Bafana Bafana in 1996. So that was a uh, more motivation than anybody can have. And uh, Coach Clive Baker had a lot of uh, talented players. Uh, remember, we come from all races, all cultures, different cultures in the country, uh, black, white, Indian, colored. Uh, 
I played with those people, and then uh, we come with the experience of uh, overseas. Uh, when you come there, you just need one thing. I want to win, and we have to win. And it was a good uh, platform for us. That was created uh, uh, by Coach Clive Barker to put us all in one basket. And uh, it was a nightmare for him every night to select the team that is going to play uh, tomorrow because of the influence of uh, the, the euphoria that we come from uh, uh, Nelson Mandela and the supporters also around uh, who want their other players, favorite players. Everybody's got a fa uh, favorite player. Everybody wanted uh, his or uh, player to play. And then uh, Coach Kleibaka was the only one who can make uh, such a decision to try to appease everybody and make everybody happy, but still bring in the results. So uh, we, we done the, the good results and we won. So. Uh, uh, I was happy to be uh, under uh, the guidance of uh, Coach Clive Arkham and uh, can learn the, how motivated he was, how enthusiastic he was every day coming to the field and selecting the team that has to go and perform for the country.